peek from Alltech already, so we actually summoner spell book swapped it out. They did see the Kazakh on top side. Huni has to back up here. Will he win all? Nope. Jumps through. Gets the flash. Ooh. Two stops. Void Spikes are going to slow him down, but the minions, he can slow him through on the turret. Can't. Only a few shots. Huni gets out alive. Exactly. The flash. Hold on. Top lane. Actually, Dardock is searching for Xmitty, but Xmitty is already in position. Oh, Huni took the close dash. He put himself distance in the lane, and now Xmitty's just looking for a quick hit to get himself from damage. Huni finding those attacks. That's where the coup de grace comes in to get a little bit more, but not enough. <laughs> First blood going over to Xmitty. He had this amount of HP. Right. for me to get bonus damage. <laughs> so as throwing a bit of love out to Booney. And I kind of... Is that love? It, it feels like he's disrespecting his opponents. But here, is it the Thunderdome time? Is it time yeah. well, well, for the moving. kill ulti into Galio? Can Hooney get out of everything? We'll find out right now in this episode of Top Dive. Hooney goes down. Looking for impact Still almost. a little bit more. They get themselves in. Phoenix and Dardock weren't able to get the last one. came out, so able to cleanse that oh, one away. Man. Yep. Seeing this one coming a mile away. Saw the Galio <laughs> champion select as well. The Thunderdome. There's no escaping that for Huni. Flash out. Not enough retaliation as Echo Fox. They read it and even with a bit of drum of intervention. Looking for double lift. Abyssal Voyage. They come out of the ground into double his life. He is not going to have fun yeah, here. But he through. Poe Belter just on the side to enter into the fight. Quick devour to get it up. Fates call back in. Then they spit out Dardock. He's just popping out of the woodwork right now. And that's going to be enough to lock him down. We find Ole on the ground. Now they're going to get the last breath over onto Poe Belter. He entered the fight thinking it was their initiation, and he leaves the fight. time because they go on to double lift with the abyssal voyage he goes off to the side it's awfully quiet down here yeah lands the root on adrian adrian flashes over and right here the headbutt does knock adrian oh. out and then impact goes in and it looks like there was a fizzle there on his ultimate so he went after the target that Adrian wow. uh, ended up eating I believe it was either the fate's call or it was Adrian getting the devour there very hard to tell in that moment who exactly his target was, but then they're just able to clean up immediately afterwards. Oh, well, still looking for plays on the Huni. The TP is trying to reinforce, but... Boom! They finish it? They're they gonna finish it? Oh, the Abyssal Voyage was right under the feet of Xmithy. Flashes out, finds the team on the top side. Ole trying to keep Dardock at bay. Do they initiate a fight on that? Dardock gets himself into a safe spot as they are just changing sides. Saying, Ali Ali Oxen free, who's safe to come over? Poe Belter goes over it. He's got to get back to his team. Now it's Ole to get himself in the fight. Adrian gets the stopwatch down. Phoenix trying to deliver damage over the wall. Oh. He knows he's going down in the trade, but he wants to kill. Poe Belter now a sliver of health. Rend it down as Dardock and Altec stand with Adrian. A straw inside a straw. Oh, he's yeah, made longer yeah, yeah. straws. He's got like three blades. Glued together, not Woo! gonna do as much damage. Yeah, healer. All right, fight on a Phoenix. Vincac Impact get a huge teleport top play. Wait. Never mind, he just went down in HB. I figured that was gonna go in his They're favor. Still on it. And they are gonna continue. They got the damage of Alltech. They're gonna be rendered out with the smite. Easy, <laughs> easy here for Echo Fox. 30 seconds after it spawned, they take. Oh, Cost limited, but hold on, Adrian. Gray Health already Eight used tall. quite early to keep the fight going, but now he's got enough teammates where it'll work. Hero's entrance comes in. Nice Fates call to get him out. Bounce back in! And the bounce house begins. It's going to be down on the right side. Ole and Double Lift try to focus down one. Adrian just flashes himself out. How are they still alive? Intense back and forth from Echo Fox. That was sick. That's a clean ace for Echo Fox. Five for zero. And they're going to start pushing the base. Absolutely disgusting positioning back and forth. The slivers of health asking, just baiting TL to go a little bit further in these fights. And Echo Fox makes quick work of another one, teleporting themselves and the minions forward. They want to win. Down to the Nexus turrets. And Echo Fox looking to get the win. 22 minutes in, now on the second turret. And it looks like with four seconds left, TL will have nothing to say about the Nexus. Dardock puts himself in front, and the quick Orange Fox jumps over the Nexus. Echo Fox takes down Team Liquid. Team Liquid have those three fastest game of the split record.
Echo Fox says, hold my beer. 22 minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Yeah, that is game? a 2018 yeah, spring NALCS record. Absolutely ridiculous. And you kind of see what Echo Fox has ready. They didn't think the game was going to end, but the possibility was there for them. All they did was take down Xmithy. Xmithy, not completely his fault. Somebody got caught, it happens, but that led to that Baron. There were more that happened after the Baron, but what a consecutive set of plays so quickly at 20, 20 minutes and 38 seconds into the game. It's a barrage. If you can't keep up with it from Echo Fox, they are just gonna shut you down. That was so fast in terms of closing the game. People talk about 8.3 long games. Echo Fox, no, that's not the case here. <laughs> Rick Fox showing love every week, every day. He talks about his team and talks them up to the moon. And that's the way they've been playing. Echo Fox now 10 and 2 in the spring split here as they are completely making waves in the matchup for Hooney versus Impact. Mm. He's got to be happy about that. Yeah, I mean, one, three, and five. He'll be happy about the win. Yeah. <laughs>